Okay, um, I've gone ahead and mounted uh, the uh, Zeta onto the uh, floppy drive with some standoffs so you can see how it fits. Uh, so it fits very nice. Um, and uh, the uh, reset buttons in front, the LEDs are in front. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that the drive, um, see if you can see this, uh, the drive is right side up when it's like this. So the PC board is underneath uh, when you uh, when you normally operate the uh, drive. So that's just kind of a funny thing. I think it'll probably work either sideways or uh, or upside down probably too. They're pretty robust. Um, so what I had to do is to make a little uh, power connector cable uh, that goes into the make sure that's focusing. Uh, so powers. Uh, the 5 volt is uh, the pin closest to this little motor and then ground is right next to it so plus 5 and ground and that goes to um, connector here uh, 5 volts is closest to the uh, uh, 9 pin uh, DIN uh, uh, DB connector uh, RS232 and then the cable is on uh, so I found so I look through all of my drawers and I have no three and a half inch discs. I threw them a long, long, threw them away a long, long time ago. And I, my daughter didn't have any, nobody had any. I uh, went to a local uh, computer store. They laughed at me and said, no, we don't have any of those. Don't waste your time. Order them online. I uh, went to the junk store, one of the junk stores locally here. And the guy said, oh yeah, I've got a bunch of them. And then he looked and he says, oh no, somebody bought them all. <laughs> uh... And uh, then he said, why don't you just go look through some boxes, and if you find some, take them for free. I couldn't find any. All I could find was uh, CD, old CDs. And uh, uh, anyway, long story, uh, I bought uh, uh, some items uh, from him, and he gave me two floppies for free. He had a couple in the back, so I got two floppies plus, some, uh, plus a thing that I could use in the garage. So... Um, uh, uh, this is the uh, first one. Uh, here's my second one. Uh, so I thought I would show you uh, what I had to go through in order to format uh, format a new drive, uh, a floppy. These are unformatted and it's not obvious what to do. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, boot this up, apply power. It, it, it's power hungry now. It takes about 0.8 amps. So definitely have about a one amp power supply if you're going to operate this. Um, so let's go and uh, see how to, how to format this. Okay, so I've applied power and uh, it automatically booted up. Uh, we'll say CPM. And um, now if everything is operating correctly, the floppy disk drive will be FD. Uh, so this is the floppy drive, floppy drive. So the C drive is the one that we're going to be operating with. So I didn't know what to do, so I just typed the word format. And it says, oh, format is not implemented. Use FD. And then clear directory, and then syscopy, and then fdisk ID. So anyway, so okay, let's see what FD does. FD. Okay. Uh, FD for Zeta version 2. So very fancy. So uh, what we need to do is it's defaulting here to a 720K media. And I believe these are probably 1.4. But so I said setup S and then um, uh, what did I do? Enter unit. I think I just hit enter. Ah, there we go. I just hit enter and I got this. Um, so the unit was zero. That was the default. I just took the default by hitting enter. And then it gave me a bunch of options here. So uh, it looks like it supports three and a half, five and a half, and eight. Pretty cool. So uh, three and a half, 1.44 is zero, one. So I put in zero, one, uh, enter. Polling, I don't know what that is. I just took the default, zero. Trace level, don't know what that is. Took the default, enter. 
Um, then when I got back to here, I said, okay, oh, that's good now. We have unit 00, zero media 1.44, mode polling and trace zero. So I hit F and then it said format, uh, track or disk. So I hit D, that's good. Then it says enter interleaf. I don't know, hit enter, take the default. And you can see it's uh, doing something. And I can hear it. It's accessing the drive. So this does take some time. OK, we're back. Um, the uh, progress seems to be done. Track, I guess it goes all the way to 4F. Everything seems to be done. So we did set up and we did format. Um, I don't think we have to do anything else. Read, verify, init, dump, blah, 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 blah. So uh, exit is X, and there we are. Now, remember, there was something else it wanted me to do, so I'll just say format again. And it said, ah, clear drive. I've seen other people do that online, so I think we need a uh, clear directory. So I think we need to do that. So C-L-R-D-I-R, C colon, warning. Uh, and then this one, um, make sure you type a capital Y. So capital Y, lower, lowercase y doesn't, doesn't work. There it says directory cleared. So now we should have a, a C drive, D-I-R-C. And it direct, it, it, uh, uh, you get an error here if it didn't work. It says no file. What you can do a stat C. It says that we have 1.4 meg available online. We can do a stat disk with a colon and it tells us about it. So again 1.4 kilobytes, um, all kinds of stuff. Pretty cool. So we can try it. Um, there's a program that I like uh, called Power. But let me let me do a different one first since you might not have that. So let's do a, a, a pip command. Oh, let's see. First, we'll do a directory. We'll do a pip. Let's copy something over there. Let's we want to copy the um, d.com file. Uh, so we're going to say uh, c equals uh, d.com. And that will copy d.com over to the C drive. We can say pip um, c uh let's put pip over there as well okay good and then we can do dirc and yes we have d and pip over there so seems to be working uh stat c we've used a few bytes there's a cool program uh, that i like to use if you can find it online i don't remember where i found it it's a powershell um uh, power 308 on cpm 2.2 it's pretty cool uh, you can do a directory and it shows you everything. You can say copy, and then it says uh, which which things do you want to copy. Uh, so we could say, oh, well, let's see, I like uh, list. Uh, that's 25. Let's say I want to put over M Basic. That's 27, and uh, I want to put in uh, X modem. Let's say 44. Enter. It says where do you want to put that? I'll say C. So I didn't have to type any file names or any dots or anything. I just typed a number and it's doing a kind of a batch thing. Um, so uh, power is very, uh, very cool. Uh, help. It allows you to do different things, dumps, fills. Um, anyway, all kinds of, uh, all kinds of really useful things. Uh, exit. Uh, let's go to the C drive. And now we all have all kinds of stuff there. Let's uh, do a stat. Um, C only has a 1372 now. So anyway, there you go. Uh, successfully um, got a floppy drive to work and formatted a floppy and loaded some things on the floppy. And let's run something from the floppy. There you go, works. Very cool. Hope that helps.